Rust. It always has, and always will be, unbalanced towards the solo player. And so rather than grinding hour after hour for small gains, sometimes the best thing you can do is let others do the work and take it all for yourself. This is my solo experience on US Main. I've also just released the Wildren Boonie Hat merch. It is limited, so go check it out in the description below. I was busy arranging my base when I received a message from Alone in Tokyo, telling me that a big raid was about to go down across the map. I dropped everything I was doing, crafted some bags, and began running over. So this raid's apparently going down somewhere on that island. This is gonna be cold. Get his bags down before I die of freezing. Oh. Might be starting soon. Right, that'll do. Oh. Here comes the scrappy. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh my word, is that triple M2? That's insane, man. It's a really small base that's getting raided, considering that's like 16 people raiding them. I was watching the raid from a distance when I spotted a minicopter. I decided to keep a close eye. That mini is not all of them. Oh, oh! That's exactly what I was fucking hoping. They're not gonna go to loot that, right? Ah! Bastards. He went down over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no fucking way! Yo, I'll take it. That's why I brought stashes. Easy. I can take Bradley with that. With the raid still ongoing, I knew it wasn't a good idea to try and transfer the rockets. So I stashed them and got straight back to grubbing. Alright, let's test their communication and see how uh, coordinated these guys are. Alright, let's see. Okay. Alright, they must all be in one team. That sucks for me. Unfortunately, the raid was a 16v1. And because of the max group size on Rustoria servers being 16, they were all in the same team and so could easily identify me. Because of that, grubbing this raid was going to be almost impossible. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do here, man. They're holding it with like three M2s. Ooh. I'll take a Python kit. Handy. I think rubbing the counters. Stashing this Python, that'll help me take back the HVs later. There you are. Take a socket. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, fuck! Come on. Oh, that was fucking close. These guys are angry. They must have finished the raid by now.
Damn. Is this how they got in? I think it must have been. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die of cold soon. Come on, let me find something to wear. Yo, what the fuck? How many diving tanks? Come on, give me something I can wear, man. I'm gonna die. No, those aren't clothes. Fuck! That's an L. Ah, oh, shit, someone's already in here now. God, I wish I'd gone in here straight away before. What do we have? Not a whole lot. I just need something to wear, man. Ooh, bandana. That'll do. Nail gun. Ah, oh, fuck, they're still in the raid base, man. I mean, oh my god, there's a lot of seeds. Fuck! Ah! I reckon it's about time I can take the HVs back. Just gonna run it home. Fuck, I'm gonna die of cold. Thank god. Didn't get looted. Uh oh. Fucking run! Hey. Alright, well, I guess I can take Bradley later on. After getting the HV rockets safely home, I was roaming the area when I heard 4C4, all from the location of a clan's vending machine. Oh shit, I think that was the shop that just got hit. Where is he? Is that him? It might have been. Oh shit! Fucking purities! What the hell? Oh, I need these. I really need these. Oh, just gotta get home. Oh man, there are two people right there between me and my base. Fuck. I'm just gonna have to run this way. Fucking zombie, man. Bro, what? That guy didn't make a sound. After a hard loss like that, I had no choice but to go back to the fight. Uh, no, I shouldn't take LR. It's not worth it. Oh my word, that guy just pulled that Tommy out of his ass. I'm just getting out of here, I don't like this fight at all. Take a bit of farm. There's definitely someone here. Yo, where the hell is that shooting at? Fuck! Oh my word, I didn't even see that guy. I'm so dead. Oh 
my god, Bradley! Bradley just came in clutch! Recycle's still going. Wait, I can steal his recycle loot. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> Easy. That guy is so mad. I need to recycle. That will do. Let's get home. Oh my lord. Where did that come from? Ow. Right, I'm gonna get the refinery learn. I already need that. After recycling lots of my components, I finally had enough scrap to research the oil refinery. Now I just needed to farm some more stone and I'd be able to completely finish my base. With the stone home, it was time to add the final layer of honeycomb to the base. Oh, I hope I can place these. Oh, thank god. And it's close. That would have sucked if I can. Once I've upgraded all of this base, it should be around 27 rockets minimum to TC. I think that's strong enough for a solo base. Nice. Just need to do this last little bit up here. That'll do. Time to get the second turret. Nice. Into the splitter. going on over there? Alright, time to finally recover a refinery. So I got this to she metal too. I don't think you'd be able to loot that from the outside. Fingers crossed. A few days into wipe now, and a lot of the compounds had started to crumble. What that meant for me was that there was a lot of loot left for me to steal. I'm gonna go check out this big base. Damn, someone's definitely been here first. To be fair, I probably reckon they've despawned their loot anyway. To be honest, big zergs like this tend to despawn their loot before they log so that other zergs can't get it. I'm gonna destroy that locker though. Could actually be something here. Nope, nothing. Is there a python in that turret? Nah. Shame. There is a python in this one though. I'll 
take it. You know what? I'm gonna craft some AKs. It's about time anyway. And I'm gonna craft a bunch of meds while I'm at it as well. Keep running out. It's probably important I have a turret on my roof. Hey! Very nice. Does this look like someone's already been here? Still want to check it out anyway. Oh! Fuck me, that was close. I'm gonna scale this bitch. Oh, this is good. I don't think anyone's been up here yet. I can make that jump. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I'm stuck here now. Price is averted. Still though, I want to keep an eye on this base. I reckon there'll be uh, some good stuff left. Oh, shit! Low grade, that's literally exactly what I needed. It's perfect. Alright, now I can finally get my uh, refinery running. Can't believe how scripted that shit was. Alright, go recycle some stuff. It's quite a cool AK skin actually. Alright, there we go. With lots of spare resources I've been building up, I decided to craft myself a few high tier kits for my locker. I'm determined to not lose these kits instantly. That's what normally happens whenever I fill my lockers. Tokyo. Just fucked him. Is that Tokyo? I hope it is. <laughs> if that's not in Tokyo, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Another jackhammer? What the hell? <laughs> Four! Well, there's the farming that I don't have to do. Definitely sneaking around. Fucking knew it. Oh, Lord. Literally cannot see this guy. That fog is unbearable. Did that guy really sneak all the way up there? What the fuck? I <laughs> knew I heard another one. It was the same guy. While checking out the old base where I'd found the crude oil, I heard some satchels go off in the distance. Hmm, 
I might get check those out. Was it by that shop? Oh no, not quite. Is that a bolty turret? I think it is. It's not ideal. Is that a me? No, no, it's not. Yeah, go red team! Oh, yeah. fucking Nate, you're fading me out. God damn it, man. Is he down? No. Fuck. Oh, fuck, there was a bolty turret. Oh, I probably should have thought about that. Okay, how do I do this? What do I do here? He's dead, right? Yep. Oh no, you don't. You're not getting in front of that turret. Thank you very much. Alright. I'll take that M39. Hell yeah. It was now day four on US Main. I woke up bright and early so I could roam the map and search for any vulnerable bases. Damn. Actually, I think that's low in Tokyo. Hmm, it's a good horse. She needs to give us some food. Hmm. I'm gonna go check out that base. That looks tanky. Oh, the gate's open. Oh, I can get in there easily. I can just put a ladder on the side. Okay, I really want to do this. Let's go, horsey. There we go. Oh, that was clean. Might be the first one in here. Okay, turrets are still loaded. Just deactivated. I actually need charcoal. Ooh, I can jump up here. Yeah, all these turrets have weapons in them. I'm gonna knock them out. I could get caught a lot of ammo from that. Hmm. I could also definitely soft side this stone here. It looks like stone's decaying but not metal, which means this base will still have loot. And a lot of it, probably. Alright, I'm knocking the turrets and then I'll do the wall. Oh yes, a full stack of ammo. That's huge. Another stack. Almost. How much more? Two health. Alright, I'm just gonna cross the spears. I'm gonna finish this turret while I'm at it. There we go, three stacks of pistol ammo, fucking huge. We're in! Come on. No. 
Okay, scrap in the research table. That's a good sign. Nothing. Although... Oh, that garage door's open. So through one sheet metal door, I can literally get all of that loot. After breaking into the shooting floor, I noticed a large number of boxes exposed behind one sheet metal door. So I crafted some explo ammo and ran straight back over to the base. Alright, fingers crossed this is going to be stacked. This is a big group space, so I've got high hopes. Okay, what have we got? Oh! Okay, that is a good start. One box in, I got a row of frags. A hundred high core, what the fuck? Grenade launcher. Alright, what have we got down here? They've left all their doors open, bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. I actually made profit on explosives as well. What the hell, man? Alright, well I need all this wood, so I'm just gonna start stacking TCs. Oh, this is insane, they've left literally all their doors open. I need to come back and finish this raid. Alright, that'll do. Fingers crossed I don't get jumped on my way home. I think I can throw away all my primitive weapons now. That's a lot of wood. Oh my gosh. It's like two boxes. Fingers crossed I have enough explosives to get through the rest. Oh my god, they've left more doors open. Pro. Honestly though, you should always grub clan bases, because so often they leave their doors open. Oh, another 100 high qual. AK Bolty? It's insane. Alright, let's see what they've got. There's no way. Oh my god. Bro, it's literally all open. Okay, dude. Two sheet metal doors. For a Zerg's TC. I'm gonna go in here. Well, this is now my base. Sealed. Sewing kids. That is crazy. Oh, a row of high quality. Let's get my NTC down. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I didn't even see the M2. I got a fucking M2, bro. That's insane. Oh, well, I definitely need the high claw. Okay, I'm bricking myself right now. Whew. Oh my god, thank god that guy was an idiot. Made it. I had successfully made it back to base with all the loot. You could say, I was pretty happy. The 
first thing I did was put all my high call to good use. Okay, let's get this bad boy upgraded. This is gonna be a tanky solo base when I'm done with it. I really hope someone onlines me though. That would be such a nice way to end this wipe. I'll get this bit as well upgraded. Some more sulfur cooking. Might as well grab some of the leftover guns. Bruh, where are my bullets going? Damn. Guess I should take the MP5s and the Tommies, those are pretty helpful. Fuck the SARS though, no one likes the SAR. Get this one run home, and I think I'm good. Let me get C4, I think. Nice. And rocket as well while I'm at it. I'll research the kilt. I had been lying AFK in my base, when I heard footsteps and voices from outside. I decided to get on my roof to check them out. Okay dude, something tells me these guys aren't particularly friendly. Oh shit, they've got rocket launchers. Okay, they're not friendly. Fuck, my turret just baited me out there, man. God oh, damn it. These guys gonna raid me? Fuck. This is not ideal. Almost down one. Oh, that guy's one HP. I think these guys are leaving. Still someone nearby. Oh shit, I swear that was one of the kits one of the Chinese guys was wearing. I think I must, he must have uh, killed one and then I killed him. How many rockets is that? Fuck. After scaring off the offline raiders, I wanted to bait them back into a fight. So I decided to take Bradley at launch site. Those were the Chinese guys.
Hey, I'm ready to do bread. I'm gonna take night HVs just because I know I'm probably gonna miss. Let's do it. Here it comes. There's no way he just duped my rocket, bro. I'm so glad I brought spares. <laughs> Oh my god. Come here, Bradley, you fucking thing bat. I can still miss one more. Thank god I brought nine. I probably will miss one more. Oh, I thought I was going to miss that one. Hey, we did it. Unfortunately, I wasted. And they never came. So I took the loot for myself. And headed home. Okay, that's pretty shit. Ah, that's okay, Craig. Okay, dude, that is a pile of shit. Come on, man. No rockets or C4. Well, I got scammed. It's a shame the Chinese group didn't come to counter. I'm not gonna lie, I thought they would. After the raid scare, I realized I should probably upgrade my base a little bit more. You never know when they might come back. I got so many spare resources, I might as well do this. gonna be my scuffed tower you've ever seen but I think it's important without a shooting floor defending will be pretty tricky Need more stability You know what? This is cool. This is a cool base, okay? I don't want to hear shit. It's a little bit scuffed, but uh, it's unique. Hey, what you doing? Oh, it's like 3 MP5. Placing so many bags. Oh, fuck. That is not ideal. I get jumped like that. Is it two? I think it's two. Damn, I whiffed. 
Fuck. Did a lot of damage. Come on, this guy's won. How did I miss that? Oh, I'm the bleed. Fuck! Oh, that is an annoying way to die. After that loss, I decided to go check out the Chinese Zerg that lived by power plant. What's going on over here with these bases? Bro, they have a whole village up here. This is insane. Oh, I actually need charcoal. Hmm. Could be stuff in here. Oh, door's unlocked. What the hell? I guess I'll take a free armored door. There is stuff here. Oh my word, that's a lot of hazies. Alright, I guess that'll do. I decided to give one more shot at baiting the Chinese clan to launch. I can't believe Heli came out as I take Brad. That is so annoying, man. But, once again, no show. Bro, what is that crate? That is terrible. Bro, I've been scammed! That is the worst launch site loot I think I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? After taking Bradley twice, I decided to use some of my leftover rockets and do some raids. But first, I wanted to get a minicopter. Damn, first minicopter of the white. Yo, why the fuck am I holding my AK? Yo, that looks so weird, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> smooth enough. With the minicopter acquired, I decided to grab all my rockets, fly out into the snow, and look for some bases to gamble on. Oh shit, that stone one by the water. Bro, you don't build there unless you're doing rig or underwater labs. I got a good feeling about this base. Hopefully, it's gonna be stacked. Oh, bro. Okay. Fucking mini cops and mechanics, man. My thing just spun. Oh, well. We, we won't talk about that. Let's just hope for a good raid here. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, this isn't a good start. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Well. Oh dear. We, I tried. Oh no. Ah oh, well. I think we can say that was a bust. It's an interesting looking base. 
Doesn't look fully decayed. Wish I brought a flashlight. That wall was 1 HP. I'm gonna blow that up. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh shit, that's actually good. Check, I'm just craft a ladder to get back out. Alright, let's see what we got in these boxes. Oh my. What the fuck? How much wood does one base have? These guys are farmers, man. I guess I'll take it. After finding so much wood in that base, I figured it would be worth taking my final rockets and giving it the boom. Oh no man, I blew into the shit loot. Bye. Well, let's just say I blew into the wrong loop room. And that pretty much wraps up my solo journey on US Main. Overall, it was a pretty successful wipe. I got a lot of shit done, but it really is a shame that I didn't get an online raid in the end. But there you go. Sometimes people just want to offline you. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you haven't seen the three previous parts, make sure you check them out too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljam, out.